Hello, my name is Bob Gailey. I'm a physical therapist, and I'm here to talk to you today about the next generation of the Rio knee, and in particular, the gait training that goes along with somebody who will be using this knee. And what we'd like to do is start off looking at the assessment of the amputee prior to the gait training. There are six critical features that we look at in gait assessment. The first is walking width or base of support. Normal base of support is about two to four inches. So what we'd like to do is see a nice symmetrical width of walking base when the amputee is standing. When we see the dynamics of the walking width, as we'll see with Gil, is notice is that the sound limb tends to come to midline. This means that he's putting most of the weight on the sound limb and not sharing the weight with his prosthetic limb. Gil, come on back. What we want to do is have a more symmetrical width of walking base, and this is something we'll talk about in just a few minutes. The second issue we want to look at is stride length. So as we watch Gil walk, we want to make sure is that each limb has a symmetrical stride. Typically what you'll see is the person taking a shorter, faster step with the sound limb, which means they're not balancing over the prosthetic limb. The third issue is dynamic weight bearing over the toe of the prosthesis. As Gil walks, what we want to see is does he load the toe of the prosthetic foot in order to take advantage of the full dynamics of not only the prosthetic foot, but also of the Rio knee. The fourth issue is transverse pelvic rotation. Prosthetic knees are designed with the intention that the amputee is going to have normal pelvic motion so that you can have normal weight bearing throughout the prosthetic knee. So as we watch Gil walk, uh, go ahead Gil, as he does, I put pressure on the sound limb as I can't stop him. As I put pressure onto the prosthetic limb, he tends to fall back over the sound limb. What we need to do is educate him how to restore normal pelvic rotation. The fifth issue is looking at knee flexion. Typically what happens if you don't have normal pelvic rotation, you're not going to get normal knee flexion. And that's really the essence of using the Rio knee. So when we ask Gil to walk, notice is that as he lifts and he kicks the prosthetic limb forward, is that he doesn't have the normal knee flexion that we would hope he would have with this prosthetic knee. This we can restore with proper gait training. And finally, the last issue that we want to evaluate is trunk rotation. Once we restore pelvic rotation and the person is comfortable walking over their prostheses, we would expect to see normal trunk rotation. However, many folks with limb loss tend to lose trunk rotation when they walk with their prostheses. So as we watch Gil walk, notice is that we don't see arm swing, and as a result, we don't see the trunk rotation that we would expect to see, which would actually cause the arms to swing.